Hey, it's Jake Mace, the vegan athlete, and I'm here at the Desert Botanical Garden in Phoenix. I teach a Tuesday morning Tai Chi class here at the garden. We call it Sunrise Tai Chi with Jake Mace. And now I'm gonna show you my top picks for Sonoran Desert cactus plants and trees you could plant at your home that are drought tolerant, and some of them are native to this area that will feed you, but also be easy to care for at the same time. So one plant that everybody in the Phoenix area should have a lot of because it's used for ingestion but also for the skin is aloe vera. And usually the aloe vera that is best for drinks, for eating, and for putting on different wounds on your skin has yellow flowers like this. Because there's different forms of aloe but the aloe vera has the yellow flowers so not only can you use the gel on your skin but you can slice and ingest the gel into a smoothie or in your diet or drink it but also the flowers are incredibly beneficial for hummingbirds butterflies and pollinators one of the trees everybody should have in their desert landscape is a palo verde i have a blue florida palo verde and they always bloom yellow flowers. This one's a native Sonoran Desert Palo Verde, but when the Palo Verde puts off its pods and they're young before they have turned hard, you can open the pod and eat the green peas like you would eat edamame at a sushi restaurant. They're really high in nutrients, protein, and delicious at the same time. The next bush everybody should have is a jojoba. J-O-J-O-B-A. Jojobas have male and female, and you want to try to get the female, but the problem is that it's very difficult to tell if your jojoba bush is a male or female until it's mature. So you have to take a cutting off a female or try to find a mature plant in a pot that puts off the nuts because the nuts are kind of like a peanut or an almond uh, and they've been used by a lot of people for different reasons, not only medicinal but also for ingesting. So in moderation, the jojoba nut can be an important part of protein and nutrients in your desert diet. And this guy right here is the nut that it puts off. See that? And they press that nut for oil, but it's not that part. You open it up, and that nut on the inside is what you want, and it's also edible. So, take that nut out of there. <laughs> My dogs think they're gonna get it for food. All right, guys, hey, sit. Venus, sit, stay. Good job, guys. And uh, I got a biscuit for them. I'm gonna eat this one. Right here. And since it rained, it's kind of soft like an almond. Really good. And here's so you guys are so good. Sit. Sit. Go Venus. Sweet bye. Good boy, sweet bye. Let's keep it going. One thing that's easy to grow and easy to eat is the nopalitos, nopales, or prickly pear. This one is called the Indian fig, and they can grow up pretty tall, as you see. And not only are the pads edible, but also the fruits. So I grow a few different Indian fig nopales at my house. And uh, they're great because the thorns on the Indian fig variety are very small. And not only do I love to eat the pads in a stir fry and the fruits in my fruit salad, but my desert tortoise also loves to eat the prickly pear or the nopales. And the last plant for this video, I'd recommend you guys all plant. There's more, but we're only gonna cover five for this video, is the Chupa Rosa. And the Chupa Rosa puts off pink, reddish pink flowers like this. And you'll see hummingbirds really enjoy the nectar. And if you were to take one of these guys off and pluck it, you'll see in the base, there's a little bit of a yellow tip. And inside that tip is a little bit of sugar. Mmm, it just tastes like a cube of sugar. That's what the birds are trying to get. And then if you eat the whole flower, it tastes just like a cucumber taste. And so we have chuparosa in our garden and we'll garnish salads with the chuparosa flowers and give it a really nice fresh taste. Plus, you're ingesting edible flowers which are great for your nutrition and for your overall health. Thanks for watching me in this video and come check out the botanical garden and see all the amazing things. But I especially love the edible parts of the garden and I'll see you guys back here next time.